Hey everybody, I'm Lance Roberts and welcome to Broadway's Calling. Every week we pull back the curtain and find out how your favorite Broadway star finally got the call to be in their first Broadway show. It only happens once, but everyone has got a story and we are here to find out what that story is. Now, Broadway's Calling started as a coffee table book almost a decade ago when I was doing Ghost on Broadway. But when the theater industry shut down, I was compelled to just continue connecting with audiences. So I dug through my files and I realized that Broadway's Calling would be a great way to connect with you all. So here I am. But in the process, you know, they talk about, you know, how do you pivot, you know, while the, the theater industry is, is shut down. I learned a lot of tech stuff, y'all. I'm pushing buttons that no longer delete all my files. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm like setting up lights. I'm working on sound, writing scripts, of course, doing graphics. And and uh, sometimes I'm even remembering my multitude of passwords. Because <laughs> I thought I was just going to come on here and just talk to some of my friends about Broadway. But in this time of isolation and remoteness, I've become actually closer to many of you who are out there watching and to my friends who, you know, sometimes we're so busy, we're, we, we text, so like, oh, good to hear from you. But now we have gotten to have conversations and it's been fantastic. But the big thing that I've learned, I've started to understand my tech geek friends after doing all this tech stuff and really appreciating their knowledge and their patience and especially our tech director, who has shared her knowledge and immense patience with me, Julie Garnier. Hi there. Ah, hello. <laughs> What's this button for? Hi. Am I too loud? Wait, is this good? Wait, what's, what about my lighting? If I go left, I'm going right. What? Wait, there's too many things. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, but man, it's, it's oh, know, been so like much. the last 15 weeks has been like a crash course. I still don't know everything, you know, um, but it's been a crash course. But I do know that if you hit the subscribe button, that it won't charge you. Because I thought, oh, you got to be charged if you hit the subscribe oh. button. So y'all, if you dig what's happening, hit that. And if you want to be reminded when our second season starts or any uh, videos are being um, uploaded, because there still will be videos uploaded even while we're not doing a full show, I want you to click that bell. Click, click, click that bell. Click that bell. Click, 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 click. That bell. Oh, see, I got a new song every week. Y'all, oh, it's amazing! You make you're like Susie Moser. Do you know Susie Moser? Yeah, of course, I love Susie you're Moser. Like, you're like the male Susie Moser, right? You just make up a song every week for the put that though. Oh. <laughs> and she says, "And I'm wearing pants." And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I love her, but I, too. <laughs> I still get confused, y'all, with the Venmo and the PayPal and all of that. Um, but I I figured out enough that we can still accept donations for our wonderful, wonderful um, uh, nonprofit partner who helped us with Cadaver Ray, uh, Gamic.org, and we're still accepting, accepting our donations for them. And uh, the Venmo is at Lance C dash Roberts, and the PayPal is paypal.me forward slash Broadway's calling. Now, how did I do, Julie? Excellent, perfect. Oh, oh, do I get a like at least a B plus? At least. <laughs> at least. Well, you get an A plus from me and uh, thank you for all your help and the help that you'll help us with as we like show some of our stars who was who were with us last night for Cadaver Ray and people in our costume contest. I can't wait till everybody sees them. They're really fun. I'm excited for people to see them too. <laughs> People were very clever this year. Really they, good costumes. They really, really I were. I was like, how did he do that? Like, <laughs> no, you know what I'm talking about. I know. Well, so <laughs> we'll see later on in the show. And if we have any problems, because it's still a tech world here, we have Julie to help Julie to help us out. So thanks, Julie. You're welcome. Have a great show. <laughs> uh, thank you. See you later. Bye. You guys, last night for Cadaver Ray. I stepped into another arena, producing a musical 
evening. It was a long road to get to yesterday, but once again, we learned a ton. A ton. And I also discovered some incredible skills of my fellow artists, like things like music editing and sound editing, video editing, their camera work. I mean, when you see some of these videos that uh, our stars like came up with, I mean, they are doing things in their apartments that you would not believe. You would think some of them were in a, a TV studio or on a movie set. Um, I'm gonna show you some snippets of some of their work from Cadaveret. And y'all, it's all on a budget with limited help, which I full well understand because here I am putting up my own curtains. It's like, it's like, it's just yet another job. That was an easy one, but y'all, it's amazing what you can accomplish with some black sequin curtains. And let's watch some of these videos right here. Hey, all you ghosts and goblins, I'm Lance Roberts, and welcome to Broadway's Calling Presents Cadaveray, the virtual Broadway villain's ball. My ghost to ghost co host is Broadway Bites reporter Andrea Boyer. Hi, Lance. How are you? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Cadaveray celebrated both Halloween and Broadway, and each of my guest star performers recreated a villain to prove that they were the wickedest villain on Broadway of them all. And the viewers got into the spirit, it, spirit and they uploaded pictures of themselves and their costumes, all from the comfort of their home. We had a virtual cabaret last night and we had some very fun cameos too such as my former forbidden hollywood co-star christine petty a genius when it comes to voices well she conjured up the perfect person for cadaveret liza minnelli hi it's liza i'm so happy to spend halloween with you i got my spooky lighting <laughs> and you know I'm just so glad that you decided to come to the cadaveret. I really am. I mean, if I had to think about, well, the most villainous part I ever played, well, that's hard because I really didn't play very bad people. I don't like bad people, you know what I mean? But I guess maybe, I don't know, do you, Flora the Red Menace, maybe? I mean, she wasn't very menacing, but that's the closest I could get. Now, if I had to pick my favorite Broadway villain, well, gosh, there's so many, but... I think that lead player in Pippin, because he's so nasty. I mean, he's he's terrible. He wants he wants Pippin to go like step into fire. That's terrible. I mean, it was awful actually. And I, I mean, if if he hadn't used jazz hands, I don't think I could have watched it at all. <laughs> we also had some performances from some of Broadway's most dynamic young stars. We had on the show Ben Fainkhauser, Juliana Hansen, D Julie Garnier, Charles Brown, Gina DeWall, L. Steven Taylor, Chester Gregory, and Holly Ann Butler. Now, you've seen them in countless shows on Broadway, and many of them were in shows when everything was shut down. Now, we have the results of the audience's pick for Wickedest Villain. But stay tuned, because one of your stars will take home the Golden Pumpkin. <laughs> now, for all of you who entered the costume contest, there's a Golden Pumpkin for you as well. And I really want to thank everyone for watching and especially for entering the contest. That was very exciting. It was so much fun for all of us to look at the pictures. And I'll show you all of the finalists in between snippets of last night's performances. So get ready and enjoy these right here. First up is Juliana Hansen. <laughs> well, um, we are going to have some of the costume picks throughout, but right now we're going to have Sister Act's leading man, Chester Gregory. I fly and the magic 
of my power takes me higher to a level where the clouds turn into fire and in the warmness of the fire I feel fine just keep your eyes open and the magic you will see it will whistle in the wind as it emanates from me it's a strong and true vibration you can feel it in your skin so come and take my hand and we will dance to meet the winter, yeah. Whoa. Hello, Lance Roberts. Uh, let me make sure it's safe to take my mask off here. Wow. It's a little bit chilly. Hi, I am Will Vogt, and I had the honor and privilege of playing the Disney villain Iago in a Latin, ironically, opposite you, uh, Lance Roberts, to Lance Roberts' Jafar. Lamp, lamp, lamp. How many peasants do we have to go through to get that stupid lamp? Yep, we said that about uh, 2,781 times. However, my favorite Broadway villain, hands down, is Miss Trunchbull. <laughs> you know, from Matilda. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, thank you, Will. That was one of our Halloween hellos popping in. Um, our next star was currently starring as Lady Diana in the new Diana musical. And the good news about this is that Netflix has picked up the Diana show and they have filmed it to be released next year. Now, you may wonder, how does she do both of those? Well, they did a socially distant version of the filming where they took all of the people who were working on the production and they they uh, they quarantined for a couple of weeks beforehand and then they commenced to filming the show. So it was very exciting and I, I would love to hear about it. And there she is as Lady die right there. Oh, Gina, she just looks fantastic. Uh, but you have to see her as her villain as she recreated a number from Carrie the Musical, which she had done on Broadway. And you're going to see a little snippet of it here today. Guess what? Ever since the world began, same plot. Everyone's been dumping on a fellow man Pounding people they feel better than I hope you're taking notes cause you feel everyone deserves a shot Get real, some of us have gotta go and some got squat That's the truth, oh honey, like it or not I hate to break it to you, my daddy taught me you get knowing being nice So now I'm sharing his advice the world according to Chris is better to strike than get struck. Better to screw than get screwed. You'd probably think it's bizarre, but that's the way things are. Oh, oh, oh. well, <laughs> that's phenomenal. Now, I would like for you to see some of our finalist costumes, and I think Julie has some of them we can show right now. Uh, they were very, very clever. Oh, there they are. I think, uh, is that Connor and Drew? I think we have like a Cruella de Vil. Oh, this one's really good. A Carrie poster. See the dead rose? <laughs> it's really, really good. Oh my goodness, it's Michael. There's Noel. That looks like the bus from the Haunted Mansion. And oh, these are so fantastic. I mean, really, these... <laughs> These costumes, they were blowing me away, just like when I actually saw our tech director, Julie, who is a great diva singer, and not only a great tech director, um, 
I'd like you to take a look at her in her day job. Beans are made from making you rich. Blend them and they start. Here you want some more. Listen to the roar. Giants by the store. Oh, well, you can blame another witch. It's the last midnight. It's the last verse. Now, before it's past midnight, I'm leaving you my. can tend the garden, it's yours, separate and alone. Everybody down on all fours. All right, Mother Gwen, lost the beans again. Punish me the way you did then. Give me claws and a hunch, just away from this bunch. And the gloom has a tomb. All I got to say is no more questions, oh, please. <laughs> she was scary. scary. <laughs> I thought <laughs> it was scary. <laughs> <laughs> Even the evil queen was afraid of that witch. <laughs> I love it. Well, if you're enjoying these videos, I hope you consider uh, continue helping us fundraise for our two nonprofits, the Moonlight Amphitheater and the Gamic. And like I said, we will take in the donations for them and uh, give half to the charities and half to our performers. And you can use our Venmo, which is um, at Lance C. Dash Roberts or our PayPal, which is paypal.me forward slash Broadway's Colin. Well, you guys, now that I've shown you the creativity of some of the costumes, I want to show you the pictures again so you can start thinking about which is your favorite. Now, you can leave your, your favorites in the chat, or you can just email us at info at cadaveray.com. And uh, at the end, then I'll give you the rules, you know, how we'll like whittle it down to the, the final three, and then we will pick a winner for the golden pumpkin. So let me show you the uh, costumes that we've seen so far before we move on. So there you have Connor and Drew. Just put those in your, your head. Then we have a Carrie poster. Put that in your head, think about it. There's some more. Oh, then there's the Haunted Mansion bust. Then there's my dear friend, all the way from Montreal, Noel. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So that's what you've seen so far, and there are more coming. And then I'll, we'll tally it up and we'll see who are the final three. But right now, we're gonna go to another Halloween hello, and we aim to be inclusive here at Broadway's Calling. Huh. here we go. Hi Lance, Silly Willie here. Now speaking of villains, one of my favorite or maybe least favorite villains in a Broadway show is the title character in the show, Rent. <laughs> and I am thinking, many of us are thinking that as we have to pay our rent and mortgages, Today, that was Brian Carson as Silly Willie, who uh, works with the Henson Company and uh, helped over at Avenue Q. And here is Motown's Tony nominee, Charles Brown. And so prepare for the coup of a lifetime. Be prepared for the murkiest scam. Meticulous planning, tenacity spanning, decades of denial is simply why I'll be king, undisputed, 
respected, saluted, and seen for the wonder I am. Yes, my teeth and ambitions are bare. Be prepared. Yes, my teeth and ambitions are bad. Be prepared. Oh, Charles was here as one of our guest star villains of Broadway. Now, this triple threat is now a quadruple threat. Holly Ann Butler. again McCavity's not there oh ha. all of these videos guys were done by the performers themselves in isolation that's what's so crazy I mean camera angles this was this is all on cadaveret on the show and a lot of you who saw it uh, last night remember I mean just spectacular production values using like iPhones and you know a lamp I mean this is crazy well also, it's crazy. More costumes. Let's see some more costumes. Oh, the Boyer family. Okay, the vampire Boyers. I love it. <laughs> oh, there's like a little American psycho. And there's a Ben Fankhauser. I, I would call that Ben Fakehauser. <laughs> I love that. That was amazing. Well, that's fun. Oh. Are those the Versace's in this Gloria store? Oh my goodness. Oh, I love that. Fantastic. <laughs> well, it's funny that we saw a, a fake Ben Fankhauser, which is Ben Fakehauser, because Newsy's Ben Fankhauser, I think would make, make a great Seymour. And I would love to be the plant with Ben. But there were no heroes last night, only villains. So Ben had only one choice to do this. I'm your genie, I'm your friend, I'm your willing slave. Take a chance, just feed me in. You know the kind of sweets that come around our treats, the kind of sticky licky treats I crave. Come on, see more, don't be a punch. Trust me and your love will surely rival King Touch. Show a little mission and work, and God's gonna get it. Hey, yeah, yeah. How about a room at the Ritz, wrapped in velvet, covered in bliss? A lid on the peak on the clinic, you did, you're gonna get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Ooh, I'm getting hungry just thinking about it, Seymour. <laughs> if you want a rationale, it isn't very hard to see. Stop and think it over, pal. The guy sure looks like plant food to me. The guy sure looks like plant food to me. The guy sure looks like plant food to me. Yeah, he's open to cheat no run. Smacking her around and always talking so tough. I need blood and he's got more than enough. I need blood and he's got more than enough. So go get it. I don't know if you guys noticed, uh, we did do a couple of filters on the, the videos that uh, our guest stars sent in, and those creeping vines were created by our video editor, editor Ina Dudukina. So thank you, Ina, that was fantastic work. Um, but here, just to recap all of our villains, I'm gonna help you remember right here with this recap video. Do a recap, wanna do that? Let's sure. Speed round kind of way. Oh, okay. 
All right, so, so we've got Belinda. Popular. The Wiz. Woo! Chris from Carrie. The world according to Chris. The world. Ah! <laughs> I want you to do that one again. <laughs> <laughs> the witch. Oh. Boom. Scratch. A scar. Be prepared. McCavity. McCavity's not there. <laughs> and Audrey, too. Feed me. <laughs> <laughs> you have to know that I had a lot of witches brew before the show, which didn't have alcohol in it, but a lot of sugar. So I was like, <laughs> was crazy, but it was so much fun. So now you have seen all of the villains and there was a three way race for most of the night. We were like watching and it was like watching a horse race because as the, the little leader counter was going, ju -ju 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 -ju, then someone would go ju -ju -ju, and get ahead. And then somebody else's fans or family would like start voting crazy. And so we were like, oh, this person's leading, this person's leading. Oh, and then there was a last minute surge and the, the first place person and the second place person were only separated by 10% of the votes. Then as we were closing everything up, it's like 3 a.m. here on the East Coast, there was, they were only separated by two votes. The first place and the second place person only separated by two votes. But ladies and gentlemen, and I hope that we have all of our villains waiting in the virtual green room because I am going to announce right now who the people spoke for and they chose as the wickedest villain and who is going to be the very first recipient of the golden pumpkin. And can I have a drum roll, please, Van? The people have chosen Ben Fankhauser. Are you here, Ben? <laughs> I'm honored. I'm shocked. After seeing all those videos, I'm shocked and honored. It, it was like, you didn't, didn't have a... <laughs> yes. Amazing. Wow. Isn't that... Kidding me. Two votes, you said, huh, Lance? Yes, it was like, it was like, but it was like so, like people were like... Vroom. And it was like, it literally like was like the most exciting horse race. And even though I was enjoying, oh, Michael Wolf says, Ben, my vocal coach, I love this performance from him. Yes. So Hi, it was God. so different for you, Ben, you know, um, Chris Kurtz, hey, how you doing? It was so different, you know, because you are like the, the ingenue or the hero. Oh, sure. um, Noelle Hannibal says, congrats, Ben. And she was Sally. So that's <laughs> coming from, and her costume was so great. Rose Taylor said, we love you, Ben. Oh. Um, it was uh, very nice to hear other contestants, you know, give you props, you know, which is fantastic. Uh, but what I was like surprised at because we've all seen you and the beautiful and, um, and of course, newsies and and uh, we did Saturday night, uh, this uh, Sondheim show, and you always are the good guy. What can I what say? <laughs> it's so. been a dream of mine to be able to play the bad guy. So the thank you for this opportunity. That was a fun <laughs> little sort of role playing experiment for me. It was so good. And I love how you put your own little stank on it and you did the famous Ben Fankhauser riffs. Okay, gotta do I it. Was, gotta have I was it in like, there. what? What? No, he didn't. So <laughs> I just want to know that now, did you notice that uh, Ina had put like the creeping vines in there? Yeah, that was amazing. It was like I was eating myself alive. Yes, exactly. It was so cool how that happened. Um, now, now you, um, you know, were staying where there were plants? Oh yes, I have many people to thank for this performance, but most okay. of all, I have to thank my mom's plants <laughs> that made okay. the appearance in the video that you saw. Um, I can't remember the exact species of plants, but boy, they were there in the basement with me, hunkering down in the- So good. <laughs> 
It was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was so good because I had sent you, you know, the black sequin drapes, you know, so, right. you know, we'd all look like we're in the same realm. Mm -hmm. But I mean, your creativity, I thought that was fantastic and added so much and so much fun. And I hope everybody out there really enjoyed it and um, enjoy like what Ben is doing. I mean, he's doing a lot of creative things and you can like find him over there, the Instagram and see if there's any music dropping. Cause the last time when you were on the show, uh, there was talk of some music. Yes. So I'm looking That's forward great. to hearing that. I'm following you on the Instagram and I hope everybody else continues to follow Ben Fankhauser and see what he's up to. Yes, Thanks so thank much you. for being here. So you're telling me I won a golden pumpkin, a purple you, pumpkin? You won the, okay, all right. I have the actual award here. There's a picture, but I'm gonna show you the real award. Hold on a second. The real award is right here and I will be getting this to you. Here he is. Wow. That's all for you. <laughs> and there's another one that um, our costume winners will have. So you'll be like, you know, so once you'll get it, we'll do a picture and, you know, <laughs> we'll post it on the social media. I love and it. <laughs> you know, you don't, you don't, really get into show business for the awards, but I gotta right. say, this does feel pretty good. I mean, who needs the Tonys? We don't even know when the Tony Awards are, but we know the Golden Pumpkins have happened and Ben Fankhauser has won it. All right, so take that, Aaron debate, okay? <laughs> Thank you, Lance. <laughs> yes, well, thank you for popping in. And I know you have some road trips coming up. Have a very safe trip. And uh, we'll see you on the social media, checking out all that you do. And yes, thanks sir. for being here at Cadaver Ray. My pleasure. Thanks, Lance. Uh, ciao. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness, guys. Because of the great response to Cadaver Ray, we have decided, and I know a lot of people wanted to see the entire videos and to see what went on, we've decided to allow the Cadaveray link to be available tonight for an encore. So you can still buy the link at cadaveray.com, but not for the, it was 2020 uh, yesterday, but it just, we'll do it 9.99, just 9.99. And uh, we will still be giving half of that to gamic.org. And that's G-A-A-M, c.org since they will be helping us once again with the ticketing because it's a it's a huge process where you know when people buy the links and then they have to enter something and then they send out the link to you so we'd like to make sure that they get some of that money and you must purchase the link right now because you got between now and 8 p.m eastern time so that is what 5 p.m west coast time because that way then gamut doesn't have to be like running to see people buying links you know for the next 24 hours um so between now and our 8 p.m you can just buy the link get some money to uh gamut which that will be very exciting to help them keep the lights on and um and the link will just be uh sent to you to your email and all of that will be when you go on uh the um the website, cadaverate.com. I'm really excited because I know that people want to enjoy it and you can for the next 24 hours. But then y'all, it will be gone like Ghost the Musical. Bye. <laughs> well, this first season has just been a testament to willpower, tenacity. It's just, it's something that, uh, you know, for me, I like, I talk to a lot of actors and, you know, just as friends and a lot of artists, just like, what, what do we do now? How do we move forward? How do we pivot? And, and even people who are not in show business, who have been affected by the pandemic and who are out of work, um, because this affects not only the people on the stage, but it affects in our business, ushers and stage crew people and the janitors who work at the theater. And of course, the, the directors, the choreographers, the set designers, the costume designers, um, the sound designers, all these people who work to create the content that is on the stages. And um, some video production has uh, started on TV and film, but very small because they have to go through a, a very stringent things. But uh, 
this medium or going through here uh, at YouTube and uh, Facebook. Now we're on Facebook Live for our last two, um, but we're typically on uh, YouTube.com. Uh, but um, it's exciting. Hello, Facebook people. We're not normally here, but it's very exciting uh, to be out there. But um, what I wanted to say is that what we're doing, giving this content and having these artists just create videos for you and do songs and you know they're learning new songs and you know with lyrics and music and and they're not they don't have like a musical director there they're getting tracks from places and there's cost involved and so i just want to implore you to really think about supporting artists really think about all the things that you we're getting to watch on the YouTube, you know, give people a dollar. Like I, I just love to tip people and I can't tip everyone, but I'm like, I can tip them a dollar. I'm not leaving my house. So it's not like I'm spending anything on Starbucks or anything. So I, I tip them a dollar because it's very, very important. And um, as we wrap up this season, part of the reason is that because it's like, I gotta like do a couple of jobs, get some more money so I can buy some more sparkly, where are they? Sparkly curtains here. Because you know, curtains don't come free, y'all, from the Amazon. So think about that because it's very, very important because what we do, we love to do it. But we want to be able to, you know, maintain our life and maintain our joy. And it's like I've gotten so much joy from the comments that people have left in the emails and the texts, um, uh, things on Facebook, on our Cadaveray page on our Broadway's calling page. I mean, this is just like so much great energy and that keeps me lifted and it makes me want to do this all the time. I'm like, oh, we're not going to do this all of November. What am I going to do on Sundays? Well, there still will be videos, but um, I just want to make sure that you understand that we have to continue to support the artists. We really, really do. And here, what we have done is that we have partnered with patreon.com so people can be patrons. And we have a few patrons and they all got to see the show for free, which is great. I want to like create things for them. And, uh, you know, people are paying like $100 a month to be a subscriber. Those people, they can afford it. I don't expect everyone to afford that. I expect people to like come in for maybe $25 or even as low as $5 a month. That is nothing, y'all. $5 a month to keep us lifted, to keep us, you know, saying, oh, I'm going to like buy something to make something really pretty and exciting so that when people are sitting at home and go, wait a minute, we're locked down, what am I going to do? That there's still a sense of connection and levity happening on your screen because that's what we're we're stuck in front of our computers but it doesn't mean that we can't have joy it doesn't mean that we can't connect so i really really implore you to sign up for a patreon it's patreon.com forward slash broadway's calling one word broadway's calling that would be fantastic and I can like still connect with you because I'll be leaving messages for our patrons. Um, I go there and I go, just leave a message or, hey, how are you? Or, hey, there's a new video or I send extra stuff, you know, like because there's a lot of research about the stars that I can't put on the show because it'll be a nine hour show. But I can definitely put it on the patreon.com so that you just constantly have stimulation and excitement coming to you because we all love the entertainment business and we really love Broadway. That's why we're here, right? 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 So come on now, y'all. Sign on up and get some freebies, and including you'll get the specials that are coming up in December. But more about that later because now, now it's your turn to vote. You have seen the finalists of all of the costumes that have come in. But here are the top three, and they are in no particular order. American Psycho, Ben Fankhauser, and The Haunted Mansion. So it's Callie, Michael, and Cameron. Now, what I need you to do is to pick just your number one in the chat. Your number one, that's all. And then our social media manager, Andrew Good, he will tally them up and then he will text me and Julie and tell us 
who is the winner. Now, you have some time to do it. Now, some of the game shows, they go, da 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 But no, no. We are still in the Halloween mood, and we are still celebrating right here on Broadway's Calling. So I think it's time for a little dance break. And there's only one thing that you can do on Halloween, and that is the time warp. So you have just till the end of this song to vote in the chat for your number one pick between Callie, Michael, and Cameron. That's American Psycho. Uh, well, I'll do it with their name. Callie was Ben Fakehauser. Michael was the Haunted Mansion bus. And Cameron was American Psycho. So are you ready? Because I think Mike Wartella is ready for a little time war. What's up, everybody? Mike Wartella here. Um, when I think about this time of year, and I think about spooky Broadway villains, well, the first place my head goes is a little character I played called Mike TV in Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. And even though he's not a villain, let's just say that if that was my kid, I just wouldn't let that happen to my kid. You know what I mean? But who I'm really thinking about around this time of year is Frank and Furter, it's all over. Come on, man, Rocky Horror. Frank and Furter, Tim Curry, Tom Hewitt, Terrence Mann, and those fishnets and heels. Let's go. Happy spooky Broadway Halloween. Let's go it's just a jump to the left. Yeah. All right. I hope you got a little dance break in. And thank you, Melanie May, for commenting on my turtleneck and my beautiful wintry background. No, I'm not joining the cast of Frozen in London. I'm getting ready for the snowball that will be here December 13th. So I was getting into the mood and sending you subliminal signals to get ready for the snowball. December 13th here at the Broadway's calling. So that's what's going on uh, right now. But to announce the winner, I think it just came in. Andrew Good has sent it to me. Oh, another, oh, it, it was an interesting race. Well, I wanna have my frequent co-host and Broadway Bites correspondent, Andrea Boyer, to help us choose the winner. Hi, Lance. Hi. Hi. There you are. You're no longer the evil queen. You're just our happy Andrea Boyer. I put her away. She <laughs> put her away. <laughs> this is All Saints Day. We're all about being good today, right? For all the Catholics who are out there, they know. <laughs> you know, or oh, Dias de la Muertas. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, did you enjoy? Um, Seeing all of the costumes. Oh my God, so much fun. Some of them were like throwbacks. I was like, whoo, oh goodness, that is just amazing. And just the Versace one. And yeah. <laughs> and you and your family, oh, as the vampire it. family, the which vampire of course family. you and your husband, because you work here at the Broadway's Calling, <laughs> officially you can't really be in the contest, but we celebrate you as one of our team members who, uh, jumped in. <laughs> time dressing up, right? Just because we couldn't go out to officially trick or treat. We just right. Stop and enjoy the show. Have a good time. It was so, so great. Well, <clears throat> Andrea, you don't even know who the winner is. I don't. I'm so excited. Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to tell you, everybody, that you, the live audience, have chosen as your winner for the second Ooh. golden pumpkin. Hello, hello, <laughs> I'm going to go 
to Michael. <laughs> Congratulations, Michael. Your Haunted Mansion bust was amazing. I was looking at that. I was like, how is he doing that? How is he doing that? So such a great, great effect. And um, I don't know if Michael is watching today um, here, but he got so so, so many votes uh, amongst the live viewers. And that's very, very exciting. Um, if you are here, Michael, let out a, a virtual scream in the <laughs> chat. Or if anyone knows Michael, scream for him. Um, now, that was in the over 18 category. Okay. But since only one contestant was eligible and under 18, mm -hmm. our team has deemed that our little Autumn Aww. is our under 18 vendor. <laughs> and she will also get a golden pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> so if you want to say thank you for Autumn, you can say it because you're her mom. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> we look forward to participating next year. <laughs> Well, we look forward to having you here uh, when we come back December 6th with the Donna McKechnie episode, uh, which is very exciting. And then, of course, for the snowball. And it's been so much fun. Your recipes are fun. And the recipes that can be found, you know, on all of the, the websites and everything, we'll have those listed. I know at... <clears throat> at uh, the info at Cadaveret, the recipes are up there for the yeah, witch's right. brew and the poison apple punch and the, the Dracula's dentures, which is so much fun. And they're all on cadaveret.com. Thank you, Julie, uh, for telling me that. And also, um, so it's just been very exciting. So I can't wait to see what recipes you have for the holidays coming up. I am so excited too, because you know, the holidays are just so magical. Mm -hmm. and wonderful things and I've already been thinking of stuff and mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to continuing the Broadway Bite segment and just bringing lots of a little extra joy and fun to all, to all the Broadway fans and again if anybody has any wonderful ideas or suggestions please share away because I'm always working in the kitchen to try some yummy good things and making it fun for everybody and simple too though we want to keep it easy yeah, we like to keep them simple. Um, so this is very exciting. Well, I hate to say goodbye. I know, too, but you know what? I'm having so much fun, and I'm actually going to check out the Cadaver Ratio again. <laughs> oh, good, good. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Well, thank you, Andrea, and we'll Thanks see so you much. in December. Yes, take care. We'll see you. Bye-bye. Oh, my goodness. You guys, our plan is to come back. Uh, this is our season finale, but we're going to come back with two big special programs and our birthday show to celebrate my dear friend, Tony Award winner, the original Cassie in a chorus line, Donna McKechnie. There she is on the cover of Newsweek, and that will happen on Sunday, December 6th. And then our holiday review, after we did Cadavere, we're coming back for more. But this time we're going to celebrate some real interesting songs that celebrate holidays but from Broadway shows. And that's going to be in the Snowball on Sunday, December 13th at 6 p.m. in our regular slot right here. Now, this is where clicking that bell, clicking that bell, click, click, click that bell, clicking that bell really, really comes in handy because you don't want to have to remember all of these dates that are coming up. But if you click the bell, we will send you a reminder. And then you just come hang out. So as you know, nothing happens without help from friends and family. And I really, really want to send a heartfelt thank you to the entire Broadway's Calling family because, oh, I don't do this alone. It may just be me, but as you see, there's Andrea and there's Julie, but also there's Andrew Good on social media, Andy Skirna, our webmaster, uh, Andre Bites, uh, Andrea, <laughs> or Andre Bites, Andrea Boyer with a Broadway Bite, and most of all, our tech producer, Julie Garnier. But also, what you don't know is when I launched into this, I did something 
different. I said, well, why don't I do a rehearsal with a dear friend who works on Broadway, he's been in movies and he's had a fascinating life. And um, I thought, well, this would be great. So I asked my friend Phineas Newborn III to help me as my first guest. And it was amazing. So. I got to abuse our 30 year friendship to practice. And then it helped me with my very first guest who I can't think enough, Miss Glenn Close. Her graciousness and humanity gave me the confidence to continue for the next 15 episodes with all of these lovely stars. And I tell you, practically everyone said, wait a minute, you're having me on the show that Glenn Close is on. So I thank you, Glenn Close. That was like so great. I mean, she was gracious when we did Sunset Boulevard, but if you see her episode, which you can, it's still on our YouTube channel. Um, you will just see how warm and lovely and just full of sunshine she is. It's like, oh, she can do Cruella de Vil, but she's also all heart uh, when you get to know her. And I hope you watch the episode so you can get to know her. So I say, give everyone on the team and all of these friends and family who helped give their talent and um, just give them applause in the chat because it, we can't hear the applause, but maybe there's an emoji or something. Um, and I would love to read all of the great people who also helped. Phineas Newborn III, Glenn Close, Donna Murphy, who I've known since high school, David Hyde Pierce, who I was in a show with when we got shut down, Wayne Brady, Ben Fankhauser, Essa Patha Murkison, Chuck Cooper, Lily Cooper, Lauren Ambrose, Leslie Kritzer, Lilius White, Rob McClure, Jose Lana, Christy Altamare, Laura Benanti, Darius De Haas, Drew Powell, Brian Terrell, Clark Vasti, Mom Point, Stephen Truman Gray, Jessica Rush, and you, you really helped this show. Oh, I thank you so much. So please stay connected, stay safe, and keep a little Broadway in your life. Vote. It's your right.